guys <gasps> we're going to disney world i just got chills i literally got full body chills right now literally cannot believe i am finally saying those words those words are coming out of my mouth <gasps> We are going to freaking Disney World and I am so excited, a little stressed, really nervous, overwhelmed, but overall very excited and I'm so excited to bring you guys along. If you've been around my channel for a while, my first time going to Disney World was in 2021. It was so much fun and however i only went to two out of the four parks so i've only been to epcot and i've been to magic kingdom and i'll be completely honest if you guys want to go watch those vlogs personally i think those vlogs are terrible but if you want to go back and watch those i've never been so overwhelmed in my entire life on a trip before mainly because first of all the trip was very last minute i went with the family I didn't find out about it until like maybe a couple days before or maybe i think the night before is when i booked my trip to leave i didn't really have much preparation I tried to watch like youtube videos and like try and see like what the cool things are to do um that are different from disneyland and like that's what i kind of prioritized but i tried my very best i really struggled with like finding food areas to eat i don't know it was overall such a mess and i did not realize how big Disney World was like the theme parks are just like 20 times the size of like Disneyland and California Adventure like I was overwhelmed as a Disneyland girly through and through with that said I'm very excited that this time I feel like I'm a little bit more prepared I have been wanting to go to Disney World for so so long especially because I've never been to Animal Kingdom or Hollywood Studios and I know Hollywood Studios is similar to California Adventures but Animal Kingdom is a park that I think that I would be obsessed with and I just have always wanted to go so also so many things that I didn't get to do at Epcot and Magic Kingdom like that's how big these freaking theme parks are that <laughs> I did not have enough time to do everything that I wanted to do and so I knew that I had to go back at some point and you guys have been telling me literally for years like girl when are you going to Disney World when are you going to Disney World and the day is finally here um the biggest thing for me was that I really wanted to stay on property and if I was going to go to Disney World again like I wanted to make sure that I was staying on property I was there to do all four parks um and that I was gonna be able to be there for essentially a week it took me a little bit but we got it together and we're making it happen and I am so excited honestly thanks to you guys for supporting this channel and for supporting me on all the other platforms because if it wasn't for you guys there's no way in the world i would ever be able to go to disney world i am planning on meeting up with my friend meg so she'll be with us for a couple of the days um and then my friend ingrid which you guys know ingrid i convinced her to come with me on two of the days so i'm really really excited um that she's gonna be joining me and she's also gonna get to experience disney world because i don't think she ever has i'm so excited to be with both of them um because i love them both so much and it's gonna be so much freaking fun i am staying at pop century pop century isn't the cheapest i think the cheapest one was all star like the f football one like the sport all star sports i think or all star movies like one of those is the cheapest one but the reason why i was like okay let's spend a little bit more money for pop century is because they have the skyliner and i've always wanted to go on the skyliner i don't know why that's been a life goal of mine and so i was like we're just gonna spend the extra money and we're gonna get a sky skyliner resort and i'm really excited to try it out it only takes you to two out of the four parks from what i have read i read i mean by what i've seen on tiktok yeah so i'm excited so the other two days i'm assuming i would take a bus I have no idea if we're gonna figure it out together so i want to say like november is like when i really was like okay we're gonna make it happen next year and i was aiming for february because i have a week off of work so i was like okay this is a perfect time to go and i've heard the weather is best like in the first half of the year and so i was like i need to go like first half of the year somehow some way somehow in january was like okay we're gonna do it like i'm just gonna book it and we're gonna go and so here we are i had a bunch of flight credit from southwest from all my canceled trips that i had i've had two canceled trips last year you guys i was like okay let me just use my flight credit to go to disney world and i'm so excited it's gonna be so so much fun but it is crunch time now because today is currently thursday and we leave on monday so this is where all like the last minute prep comes in i'm not really last minute with my outfits i think this is probably the most prepared i've been with my outfits 
for any trip ever. Like I've had these outfits in my head for like about a month and I, when am I ever gonna go back to Disney World? I have no idea, probably not anytime soon after this. So I'm like, I need to go all out and do everything. Get our nails done, not today, we're gonna go tomorrow. Another thing on my to-do list, I do need to pre-film a video today. I wanna pre-film a purchaser pass. Um, just to make sure that I have videos going up while I'm gone and Target to try and get some minis like I don't want to take like a huge suitcase So I'm trying to avoid it as much as possible So I'm like I need minis of everything so everything can just fit and I don't need to take too many pouches of stuff Like I just want minis of everything like I ordered a mini ring light and I'm trying to just Trying to get everything small, okay? We have to do a haul today because I did order some new shoes and I want to show you guys that I'm hoping uh, to bring on this trip. You guys know I always wear my Air Force Ones. Sometimes I'll reach for my New Balances. For the most part though, I wear my Air Force Ones because they match with every outfit. And when I go to Disneyland, Air Force Ones don't really bother me. Like I can get through an entire park day, two days in a row, and I'm totally fine. When I went to Disney World, Air Force Ones were the actual death of me. I could not last. I was in so much pain. It's such a big park and so it's so much more walking and I obviously was not prepared for it. It was a very last minute trip. This time I was like absolutely not am I wearing those Air Force Ones. We're getting new shoes. I saw these and these are so freaking cute. They're New Balances and I love my other New Balances. The ones that I have currently are blue and white and so I felt like I needed a different color because a lot of my outfits aren't blue and I just feel like they don't really match. But these I feel like will match with a lot of my outfits even though they're still a color. I just have issues you guys and they have pink in them so I obviously had to buy them. Like this, um, they're so cute. They're like, they look like cotton candy I feel like. Pink and pastel purple. I'm planning on wearing them for the next three or four days to break them in and hopefully they don't hurt my feet. Um, I didn't even try them on yet. I got these from Finish Line. I will link them for you guys in my like to know it. Also did get like a random thing. I got a new ring light for my phone. One, did I buy it because it was pink? Yes, I did. Look at how freaking cute it is. Also smaller than the other one that I have. Like I said, I just really want smaller things for this trip just so it's easier. Yes, okay, it did it. Oh yeah, <gasps> look at how bright it gets. I decided to make some reservations for dining because my life goal, another life goal of mine, to eat at Be Our Guest. And I've heard terrible reviews about Be Our Guest. People say that their food is trash, essentially. And I don't care. I just really want to be there for the vibe. I want to see Belle and the Beast dancing around and I want to feel like I'm in the castle. So we're just, we're just going to go for it. It's obviously really last minute that I'm booking these reservations and the only options were 10.55 a.m. or literally like 9 p.m. We're doing the 10.55 a.m. so super early morning. Um, but I'm so excited. Anyways, I need to go film a video and then I'll catch up with you guys. Just finished filming my video, so let's do a little outfit check. Just wearing this sweater, which is from H&M, and I just stacked up a bunch of jewelry, my everyday rings, oh my watch, this from Fossil, some classic gold hoops, I feel like this is all I end up wearing, a little claw clip, um, my little guest bag, I'm wearing these jeans from Oh, wow, these are also H&M. <laughs> and I obviously based my outfit around my new shoes that I'm trying to break in so my feet don't bleed when we go to Disney. First, I need to go eat something because I haven't eaten all day. I love that for me. Also, we're going to go to Sephora. That's like the first order of business. Go to Sephora, kind of see what they have. I want to see if they have any minis. Pop into Brandy Melville because I always need to pop into Brandy. Melville. See what they have. Um, if anything kind of like sticks out for my trip. I feel like I really don't need anything from Randy, so maybe I should just avoid at all costs. And then I think I'm gonna go to Target to get the rest of the minis that we need. And then I feel like that's about it. That's all we need to do today.
been running around literally all day. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I've done way too much shopping and I don't even know if I need a lot of these things. I don't know if I want anything. I need to try things on. I actually ran into a subscriber, so hey, if you're watching this, sorry I look so terrible today. <laughs> we are gonna do a little haul. So let me show you guys what I got. Way too much stuff. I went to Sephora, I went to Brandy, I went to a thrift store and found nothing. And then I went to Target. I found a couple of minis. First mini is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Like you need this primer for any Disney trip. It keeps your makeup on literally all day. It's like glue for your makeup. I had to make sure I got a mini one. Big one takes up so much space. I also got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Waterproof though because I know I'm gonna go on like water rides and stuff and I just don't want to look like I'm a little raccoon. I got a waterproof version and it's mini. Look at how cute it is. So cute. I also got the one size powder. I've been loving it. I have the full size. So I got a mini one. That way I don't have to take that big ol' freaking powder. And then this new product I've never tried. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush. I have literally have never heard anything about it, um, but I saw the mini and thought it might be cute. Looks like this, hope it's pretty on me. And then from Target, okay, this is so random. Um, I found this skirt and it's so cute. It's like a skirt, essentially. They also had it in white. The only size they had was extra small, medium, and then large, extra large, and I was like, okay, great. So every other size except mine. I don't know what I'm wearing with this. I started thinking, oh, this could be cute in front of the Rapunzel bathrooms and do a Rapunzel look. I'm crazy, adding more outfits without even knowing what I'm gonna bring. And then I also found this top. So this top was like five bucks. I didn't even try it on. So if it's ugly, we return it tomorrow. But I'm gonna try it on, see if it looks cute with the skirt and it can be a full like purple set. I don't know if that's too matchy matchy. I don't know what else I would wear with it. I need to figure it out. I go quickly, conditioner, deodorant, toothpaste, Hair ties because I'm all, I don't know where any of my hair ties went. So I need some hair ties. Makeup remover, curl cream, dry shampoo. I think that's it. Those are all the minis that I got. That's more than enough. Okay, last place that I went to was Brandy. I hate going into Brandy because every time I go, I always end up walking out with something because I just always feel like I need basics or I need, I don't know. I always end up with literally the same shirts that I already have just in different colors. What stood out to me were these pants, okay? And I've never seen them have these pants, but they had a bunch of different colors. I was hoping they would have like a pair of brown cargo pants because I recently just got rid of mine because mine were too small. And so I was hoping they would have a pair of brown ones to replace them, but they didn't. They had like black and like green, I don't know. I'm getting the white and the reason why is because I have this figment bag and I've had this figment bag for so long and I'm like, the day that I go to Disney World, I'm wearing that figment bag to Epcot. However, I cannot seem to figure out an outfit to go with the figment bag because I just don't really wear orange and purple. It was originally why I ended up buying the skirt and then I started thinking maybe I don't like it with the bag. I don't know, I'm losing my mind. So I was like, okay, white cargo pants might look really cute. I feel like they fit so well of the fit. So even if I don't wear them to Disney World, I know I'll get use out of them because they're so freaking cute. Random things that I did not need, but I bought anyways. I got this little bralette, we love it. And I got the bralette to go underneath this top, which I have like a long sleeve version of this in gray and I'm obsessed with it because it's like off the shoulder and it has like the lacing. And so like a little peekaboo moment might be cute. And this could be cute with the white pants with the figment bag. I don't know, you guys.
You guys, okay, last night, I got super excited about my trip. Like, I think for the past, like, month, I've been really stressed out about it. There's, like, so many things I have to think about, like, you know, just, like, the annoying stuff, like, content and photos and outfits and making sure, like, I understand how everything works at Disney World and the hotels and just so many different things like shuttles like I don't know there's just been so much that I've just been like overwhelmed by last night when I was laying in bed I was like you know what I'm like really excited for this trip and I'm so happy that I'm feeling more at ease about it and I'm just excited to have a good time obviously I'm gonna vlog for you guys like that is a given but if I'm like, if I can't get an extra photo, like, whatever. Like, I am just trying to just have fun and really enjoy myself because who knows when I'm gonna go back. And so, I don't know. I'm just really excited now. I'm actually gonna get our nails done. I kinda wanna do like rhinestone Mickeys, which I've done before, but I only did like one finger with a Mickey. So I kind of want to do every finger with the rhinestone Mickey. The nails that I have currently. Kinda wanna keep kind of like this nude base that we have. And then instead of drawing, like I'm gonna make um, Mickey's out of the rhinestones. Also gonna be my nails for um, Disney Channel night. Quick little outfit of the day before we go. Jacket is a Disney princess jacket, super cute. Got it on, I think Mercari or Depop. Wearing some necklaces. Top is from Ta uh, Target. My guest purse that I wear every day. My fossil watch from yesterday. Wearing some sweats from, these are really old, they're from Pretty Little Thing and I'm trying to break in my shoes, so basing every outfit this weekend around my shoes. <laughs> we are home now from the nail salon. I put on these blue light glasses on because I was editing and my eyes are hurting because I've been staring at my phone all, literally all day today. I uh, am obsessed with the nails. We kind of placed them randomly. So um, we alternated between like nails, like Mickey's that she could see and then Mickey's that like I could see if that makes sense. So like when I'm looking at them, like there's some that are facing me, but then if you're looking at them this way, then they're also facing you. Hopefully that makes sense, but it was funny because when she was doing my nails, she was like, okay, this one, do you want you see or me see? And I was like, me see, you see. And we were just doing that the entire time, just different locations. So like some are like at the top, some are at the bottom, some are in the corners facing different directions. So I think they're so cute and like very natural as well. So they're not going to clash with like any of my outfits and they'll obviously work for Disney Channel night and stuff like that. So I love my nails, I'm obsessed with them. And then I got baby pink toes, which is what I always do, is baby pink toes. Like right now I'm actually gonna call Pop Century, the resort, because Ingrid is staying with me for two of the days and she's not on, like her name isn't added to the room. And I don't know if it'll make a difference, like the price is gonna be this, like should be the same. I doubt they would charge me more, like do you think they will? for adding another person like I already paid for the room so why would you charge me if like the room size isn't going to be bigger it's probably going to be the same exact room size we just want to make sure that we're extra safe we just don't want anything to come up to like <laughs> make this trip harder than it needs to be so I am going to call just to double check the cleaning purposes you can read our pri did you know that many trip and sign into your to start the modification process Cassandra, C-A-S-S-A-N-D-R-A. -S 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 there is truly nothing I hate more than talking to an automated voice message. I can't stand it. Like, I just don't like talking to robots. It's such a long process. Sometimes they can't understand you. It's just so annoying. Like, I just want to ask the question. You know what I mean? Hi, I'm calling because I have a trip planned for next week at the Pop Century Resort. She did get park tickets, um, okay. and I think I have her linked on my account for okay. park tickets only, but yeah, she's not under the name, or under the hotel or anything. I'm used to going to Disneyland and always having to make a reservation, so I just wanna make sure that there's no reservations needed for Disney World. That's what the website said when I bought them, but I just want to make sure. 
No, so you are fine then. Um, okay. And so that as long as it's there, though, you do not need to make theme park reservations anymore. Is there anything you'd like me to, like, check your reservation and make sure it's in order or put any special requests or anything like that for you? Actually, yes. Can we just double check that I'm all set to go? <laughs> From the Bay Area, so Northern California. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, me too. I just moved oh, really? to San Jose. <gasps> oh, no way. I finalized that information, so... Ingrid could stay with me and it's no problem. The cast member was seriously so nice. I think that's the nicest cast member I've ever spoken to in my life. She was so sweet and she's from the Bay Area, which I feel like that's why we connected because you know, we're Bay Area girlies. I'm all set, I'm so excited. It just made me more excited. The other thing is that we do need magic bands. Disneyland could care less about magic bands. Disney World, you absolutely need it for like pretty much everything. Like you don't, but like you do this magic band that I started purling like two years ago I don't know when maybe last year and I never finished it so I think that's gonna be my task for tonight is I'm gonna keep on working on this it is the next day and we are officially packing well I'm not really gonna pack for Disney World I'm just gonna try on the outfits for you guys. I leave in two days. Super gloomy today and I feel like if I spend time trying on outfits and packing it's gonna get really gloomy and you're not even able to see me packing. So we're fighting with this weather you guys. <laughs> I'm ready for winter to be over. I'm so over it. Spent a bunch of time last night pretty much finalizing my outfits. I am very proud of the outfits like these might be my favorite Disney outfits I've ever put together for an actual trip. I love styling outfits for videos and stuff, but I think these are my like favorite outfits that I've taken on a trip and I'm really excited and I'm so proud of them. I feel like I did such a good job, so not to like gas myself up, but let me go grab some. This isn't like a super realistic pack with me like it is like I'm definitely wearing these outfits throughout the day um and some of them I'm gonna wear all day but you definitely don't need this many outfits for a four-day trip I am doing one park per day but because I don't really go to Disney World and I obviously love to get content because I am crazy I have about one to three outfits for every day let's start with Hollywood Studios I only have two outfits for Hollywood Studios I bought this t-shirt I don't know if you guys picked up on it when I put it in a haul but I did buy this t-shirt for this trip specifically the Hollywood Tower of Terror t-shirt I found it on Depop it's a kid's tee and I'm really excited so we have this t-shirt then I also have these denim shorts which these are pretty old they're from forever 21 a couple of years ago but we have these shorts then I have my honey clover mini bag I just think the pop of red is gonna look really cute with the red in the shirt so that's the bag the little bubble bar keychain love her ears i'm just gonna do a simple black pair of ears i feel like hollywood studios and california adventures just really give street style and i feel like that's the vibe so we did a full-on street style like casual cool girl type of look so all of my outfits i'll be wearing the shoes that i showed you guys earlier in the vlog um and i've already tried them on with everything and i feel like they look good with literally every outfit so it works, and then for the outfits that it doesn't look good for, you're just not going to see the shoes in the pick. We love it. It's like magic. Here is the first outfit. Super comfy and casual. Second outfit for Hollywood Studios. I knew that I really wanted to do a some sort of Toy Story look. I initially wanted a Bo Peep outfit, and I had a vision of what I wanted, but the items that I needed for it were sold out. And I was just like, we're going to scrap that idea and we're going to move on. I have this backpack, which is also from Sony Clover. And I was like, you know what? This is the perfect time to use it. Here is the backpack. I've never used it before, but I'm really excited to use it. And this sweater vest, um, it like buttons up. This is from Brandy Melville. Then underneath it, I'm going to wear this 
like lace top which is also from brandy melville i'm also gonna wear these shorts which are from princess polly these sequined ears these brown sequined ears these are from tokyo disney so i added this little bow from stony clover which is gonna hang off like the shoulder strap so i'm gonna try this outfit on this is one of my favorite outfits here is the outfit i added some necklaces just to kind of give you a visual okay, this looks super cute like it's already getting so dark you guys i love it so i'll be wearing this outfit i think it's super cute with the backpack animal kingdom i only have one outfit this tank top which i bought for this trip it is a Winnie the Pooh tank top and they have so many different versions of this on Depop um, they have t-shirts I've seen sweatshirts wear it with this skirt which is from Brandy super cute like cargo skirt um, and then I also have these Simba ears which are from the parks this purse which is from Princess Polly and I added this little cheetah keychain from Where's this from? I think Forever 21 a couple years ago. Here is this outfit. And honestly, this skirt is a lot comfier than I thought it would be. Like it's comfier than the denim shorts to be completely honest. And I love it. This reminds me of like if Regina George was like in a safari, like I feel like she would wear this, like a wife pleaser type of tank top and a mini skirt. I don't know. And one and only Animal Kingdom fit. I would love to have more, but I honestly couldn't come up with anything. So this is as good as it's gonna get. So Epcot and Magic Kingdom, I've been to both of those parks already. So not that I'm not gonna enjoy myself, but I felt like I could add, th I could do like three outfits and I would be fine because I've seen most of it. And I feel like they're really chill parks or um, like Magic Kingdom is literally Disneyland, just bigger. So I'm like, I'm not super stressed about doing all the rides essentially because they're all most of them are like pretty much the same if anything I think the Disneyland rides are better so I'm like not really worried about like doing too much while I'm there when I went to Epcot like I obviously had so much fun but when I think about Epcot like it just feels like a photo op like a giant photo op like all the different countries like not every country has a ride so most times like you're just like kind of enjoying like the architecture and so you can just take pictures like I don't <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense but that's how I view Epcot Paris Pavilion outfit so a lot of Brandy Malvo in this outfits video but these shorts are from Brandy and I'm obsessed with them because like the stripes are super cute but then also like the lace and the bows so good this top is from or this tee is from Princess Polly has a little croissant its ears are from Tokyo Disney and their lace which is super cute and matches the vibe i feel like i'm wearing pajamas and i honestly will probably end up wearing this as pajamas um after this trip so, like the pop of pink is really cute with this outfit I'm, like really hoping that they have like a little remy keychain or like a shoulder plush or something to complete my little remy fit and i want to take the photo in front of the Remy ride because it's my first time riding it. I actually think that's going to be the only launch fly that I bring on this trip. I have this purse, this figment purse, and I obviously need to use it. Today is the day, or this trip is finally here. Super cute because it has a little keychain in front as well. I don't know if you can see, but it's a little figment keychain. Um, so we're going to do this bag. I'm just going to do an all white outfit and the photo is going to be in front of the Epcot ball. So I'm going to walk in the parks with this outfit and then change out of it. I'm wearing the little cargo pants um, that we got at Brandy the other day. And then I'm going to do just a plain white tube top actually have these orange glasses from Shein so I'm not gonna do ears I'm just gonna put these on my head which I think are really cool and adds a little something makes the outfit different from all the other ones like, I'm obsessed with this I'm so cute with the bag I'm so happy I'm finally getting to use it and then with the sunglasses like so cute honestly there's gonna be an outfit that I'm gonna wear a ton this summer so love it and i knew i was going on this trip i was like i have to do a moana outfit because of the new tafiti area that they have i just like need to see it and i need to get a beautiful photo there 
and it's gonna look so good so I'm really really excited um, and then plus they just announced Moana 2 so I was like oh there's even more perfect I'm so glad I'm doing this this skirt which is from Forever 21 I've styled this a ton I feel like on my page super cute and fun this top is from this is Polly based the entire outfit around these ears that just came in the mail today from Mercari and they're the Moana ears I finally have added them to the collection and then I have a Moana necklace which I don't know where it is so let me go look for that so found the necklace this is from super smalls and I've showed you guys this before I believe um, I think during vlogmas I showed you guys but it is essentially a kids necklace here is the necklace and then you open it up and it has the heart of Tafiti. And then what I just noticed right now that I took it out of the packaging is that the back has a little heart. Like, is this not like the cutest thing? Ah, so excited. Okay, my first time trying on this outfit, so hopefully it looks good. You guys, this outfit is so freaking cute. <gasps> oh my gosh, my vision has come to life. I'm so obsessed. Um, I tried to like pull it down as much as I could to kind of make it look like a dress. My new favorite outfit. Well, I'm so happy that it just like came together the way that I imagined. Last park is a Magic Kingdom. First thing is I have this Belle t-shirt, which is from Depop. With these overalls, which are from Princess Polly. These blue ears. Here is the outfit. Very chill. I think um, this outfit will look best with just one strap instead of two. It's super cute. Because I made a reservation at Be Our Guest, I was like, okay, well now we obviously need Belle in her yellow dress. So I had this dress, which I've done a Belle look with this dress before, but like, who cares? We're gonna do it again. It's gonna be different though, because this time we have ears. So I have this dress, which is from Lucy in the Sky. I'm gonna wear my Sony Clover fanny pack with the bell print and I added this little red bow to it. These bell ears, which I'm so excited because I've been wanting to style them. And that's gonna be what I wear to be our guest. Love it, obviously it matches the vibe and I think it'll be really cute with the castle in the background, like the beast castle, which I've never seen before either. So I'm really excited for this outfit. I think it's super pretty. I don't know if I love this bow, to be honest. Like maybe if the bow is back here I don't know I would, I'm not sure if I love that but last outfit that we're gonna do is this t-shirt which I have been waiting for the day that I can wear this to Disney World I don't know why I've had this for like two years I think and I'm like one day when I get over there I'm wearing this it's a vintage tee from Mercari I don't know if you can see but it's so cool and obviously it has Disney World Disney World and it's pink. It's like the perfect shade of pink. Then I'm gonna wear pink biker shorts, which I don't know where they are. I'm also wearing my princess Shoney Clover fanny pack and I'll probably be carrying my princess backpack with all the outfits in it. So I might just end up wearing that, but we have the fanny pack also for the vibe. But it looks like these little lace shorts are from Forever 21. Kind of loving these silver ears, but my other thought is maybe just a simple pink will be better. Kind of like the contrast of the silver, but I'm not entirely sure. And also there's a Disneyland castle and we're at Disney World, so I'm like, is that a crime? Maybe. Can't get arrested. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna end up doing the pink, but. Yeah, and then I also just tried on the sneakers. I'm gonna wear like high socks um, for pretty much every single day. Um, Cause it looks good with most outfits. Those are all of the outfits that I'm planning on wearing. I definitely need to figure out like what sweatshirt I wanna bring. Like obviously things like PJs and just comfy like loungewear for the resort. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys like and subscribe um, so you guys don't miss the Disney World vlogs. I am so excited. Let me know which outfit is your favorite, which outfit you're most excited to see the photos for. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok so you can see every single outfit um, and kind of how I put everything together. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in Disney World. Bye guys.